Hey everybody, this is Mr. DePay from NFT Handshake. So today I'm going through Rarity Sniper and how you can use that to bid on listings on OpenSea and flip them for great profit. Um, if you're not familiar with NFT Handshake, we are a software platform where you can submit bids to OpenSeas in bulk. You can use different trading and uh, flipping tactics to to make profit on OpenSea uh, using Rarity, using trades, using a great deal of different um, approaches uh, to flipping on, on NFTs uh, and OpenSea in general. So the first tactic I want to show you with Rarity Sniper, which we just implemented uh, about a week ago, this is a test server uh, for NFT Handshake that I'm on right now, a few uh, bucks and stuff, but good enough to show you guys what it's about. Um, the first thing you're going to do if you want to use this tactic is navigate to the website and go under um, menu, go under NFT collections, and then use the sort filter here and go to one day volume high or low. Uh, so you just sometimes have to click twice and then you'll see some features listings here. Uh, these are not actually the highest volume um, collections. You can just totally ignore them. And then number one right now in OpenSea is Asuki, then Board Ape, Yacht Club, and so on and so on. Uh, when you get down, you know, past the first three or four, you'll actually start seeing something that could be interesting. Clone X, Doodles, Invisible Friends, and so on. Uh, obviously, there are high flow prices, 14, 14.6, and so on. But if you have the EVE, there are amazing opportunities using Rarity Sniper on these collections. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is a collection um, that might not be appropriate for Rarity bidding. Uh, and then I'll show you one that actually has great opportunities. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. So Inv Invisible Friends, this is the first one I'm going to check out. Usually I like to click on the OpenSea link uh, and that will open up on OpenSea. And then you can copy paste that link and you'll put it straight into a tool. I'll start with a paid tool such as Nansen, which I really like. Uh, it's about a hundred bucks a month. That's well worth it. Just the data, the analytics, so well organized, it's fast and every collection is available there. So that's probably my favorite tool, but I'll show you free ones as well, just so you have those options. Invisible friends. So this this would just be the first collection I would analyze, and I could analyze hundreds if I want to and see whether there are great opportunities. But this is the first one. We can see the first thing we see here right now is the volume in the turquoise color right here, and you can see it was super high and it's just super super low, and it, it keeps setting kind of lower lows and just goes down. This is a really bearish signal that no one is interested in invisible friends anymore and is having a very rough time. Um, but my favorite part of Nansen is the individual transactions module down here where we can see every single transaction and we can see the uh, SMA as well in the last uh, 12 hours uh, or it, yeah, longer as well. You can see um, it's all the way to seven days ago. And the white line basically shows where there's, super, where there's support uh, for this collection. You can go a bit above it as well but I wouldn't go like crazy above it. I also like to click and drop extreme outliers because I can kind of zoom in as well. And I can see that there is a bit of support over, you know, there's a sale on seven and six and a half and six and a half the last day. So there is potential for a little bit more, but in general, there's just not enough support here. Basically there's just enough, not enough people that are buying any NFTs in this collection above the floor price. So this is a huge risk and you wouldn't want to snipe a rare NFTs. You have to remember that this tactic relies on buying something for a bit over the floor of the entire collection, something super rare that is worth maybe uh, almost double the floor price or somewhere in between. And we just can't do that for this collection because there's no one buying anything above the floor. So that was an example of something uh, where you would ignore that. You would go to the next collection. You would keep doing your research over and over and over. Um, eventually, you'll find something great. And this could be a feline friends right now. I, I just checked this one out and it looked really interesting to me. We can see that it deployed 26 days ago and it had that initial hype, which we always see, and then a, a drop. 
And then some collections never really come back from that. They just stay low or they stay low for six months. But this has already come back. There's probably enthusiasm in the community. There's features being announced and developed. And if you are really afraid to do rarity bidding, you can even go to their Discord and see what kind of roadmap they have. What is the consensus within the Discord? What are people saying? Uh, try to stick to the features they are planning to do and the features they have done. This is the best security for your investment going up over time. Uh, but anyway, we are flippers and I primarily want to see uh, things based on transactions and what's going on right now. And for that, from that perspective, things are looking really great. Uh, if we go further down individual transactions, we can see there's way more selling above the white line. And we can see there's a lot of support uh, way above the floor price, which is 0 0.17. We can actually see there's even support almost all the way up to half an ETH. We can drop extreme outliers and we can zoom in as well. And here we can see that there's just a ton selling for, you know, um, uh, 0 0.10, 0 0.20 ETH more than the floor price. This is really interesting. And, the, you know, the floor price is going up. It went up 88% uh, from yesterday. So this is really something that's hyped and it really goes well with the fact that so many people are buying it right now. So this could be an interesting collection to flip. So how would we go about that? First of all, you would take the euro from OpenSea and you click add new collections into our tool. You just paste the URL in there. You would basically just go like this and you would click um, save and back and then it will start scraping. Uh, I've already done uh, the feline friends uh, because I wanted to be ready for this video and we can see it scraped 7,777 tokens. <clears throat> the floor price is 0 0.17 and it has also done the rarity from Rarity Sniper where it's available and also the floor prices. So the tactic is literally just to go into rarity floor price list. And now we can see the floor prices for different rarity ranges. The top 50 rarest um, NFTs in this collection has a floor price of 1.25, right? So it's way above the floor of the entire collection, which is all, which is, this is actually a little bit outdated because we saw in here that it is yeah, 0 0.17 now, right? Um, so it is a little bit higher than that, but, but yeah, it's, uh, it's coming there and, it, and it's going up. So I think what's really interesting is that we can look at some of these tokens that are priced a little bit higher. I would say that, you know, in 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 would be interesting uh, because if we bid somewhere around the floor of the entire collection on all these tokens here, this is basically the price we can look forward to selling at. So what I would do for this collection is probably bid 0 0.15 to 0 0.17 on this, 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 and then maybe I would bid 0 0.25 on this. And here, maybe I would bid 0 0.4 or something like that on the 1 to 50, right? So how would that look? We could set that up really easily. We can open up an additional window, click on bidding. Let's do 1 to 50 first. Click add new bid. And we find the feline friends collection. We're going to pick our wallet. We're going to put our lowest bid on that top range. So what you can do as well, uh, if you want to check out who has, what are people bidding on these ones, so you don't get that notification. Well, the highest bid is already way higher than yours. So you go in here and you go, we're going to want to click one to 50. And we are going to see price from uh, low to highest. Uh, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Uh, actually, you don't have to click load the highest. You just have to click on a bunch of them. And let's see what people are actually bidding, right? So we can open up uh, a few of them just to get a feel for it. Um, let's see here. 0 0.22. 0 0.22. So people are not really bidding that high for these rare ones, which is actually surprising to me. And that means that I don't have to it as high. I think, you know, given the fact that I can probably sell it for around one ETH if I'm lucky, I'm going to be bidding 0 
0.32, so 0.35. Okay, I'm going to output by this amount. We set the expiration date to eight hours. You could do less, um, but I just don't want to check in on it all the time. And we can see here that the floor price for the range I'm bidding on is 1.25. If I win this, it would be amazing. I can look forward to a really, really big uh, profit around 0.9 ETH. So that's really, really nice. Uh, I might actually just go a little bit higher because I actually think um, that could help us out a little bit. Put that like that. Um, I expect the sales price would be one Eve. I want to sell it like way lower than everyone else because I want to sell it very fast. So click save and back. And now it's actually bidding guys. This is our first bid. This is how you use Rarity Sniper to bid on listing using custom Rarity floors. Uh, we can set up another one, but you're just going to follow it. I'm also quite interested in, in bidding on this one. I'm just going to check what people are bidding on that range so you could do one to 100 and i'm just going to uh, click on a few listings to see what the bids are like in here um actually it would be 51 to 100. so probably open up like four or something like that let's yeah let's go with a rare one <clears throat> Let's see here. So, so 0 0.22 is super low, uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.22, 0 0.22. So there's not a lot of bits, man. I'm really sur surprised about this. Uh, I think we're gonna go 0 0.23 to 0 0.24, at uh, 0.249. Um, same expiration time, we're going to do 51 to 100 and expect the sales price is going to be 0 0.5. Um, you can always verify in here that the floor price you're bidding on here is 0 0.6. We're bidding this amount, so we're looking for a nice 0 0.35 profit or whatever, something like that, which is, is still pretty decent. Um, so I'll be happy with that. So you click. Uh, we need to put our wallet in as well. Just forgot that. And then click save and back. So that's our second bid. And these ones are the best opportunities. You could also bid on this one here. I would probably bid the floor right now, which is 0.17. So I'll bid just slightly over that. So that would be 100. I already, yeah, let's do that quickly. A bit slightly over the floor price on these guys. Uh, and we saw that right now the floor, let's see, it's moving fast. So it could be uh, 0 0.17 right now. So we'll bit 0 0.17, 0 0.18 just for the, because it, it will look uh, quite nice then. And then we are going to be bidding on, what was it? Uh, 101 to 300. I might be, I might be that guy that has a bid for uh, 0 0.22. He might, he might beat us, uh, but I don't feel like going too high. So I'll go a little bit higher. I'll go like that. See if we can outbid him. And Because I saw there was a guy bidding 0 0.22 on a few listings, uh, and might you might have bid on these as well. So I want to make sure I can outbid that guy too. Uh, I'm still going to sell it for 0 0.39, so I'm like still with a pretty good uh, profit. Plus, I think this collection is going to keep going up, so that's pretty good as well. So I expect the sales price is 0 0.39. And uh, that's our range. Let's just verify everything again down to 300 and then it drops too much. There's like not enough profit there. So let's, so yeah, I'm going to start this one up. Uh, let's see on our other bids here, how they're doing under bidding. And I think they're doing well. One is already done and there's another one done in 27 seconds. So I'm already going to start this one up here. So those are the ones I would bid in that collection. You can see that it's not a whole lot. Um, in this specific collection, we only bid on a smaller range because we didn't think there was an opportunity. 
on the other tokens and that's okay you know that's how most collections will be but you know i just did this in like five minutes or something you can do way more you know go back up again you know nft collections and put up one day volume high to low and you can start you know putting finding even more collections to bid on there's so many more um to bid on and this was just the first one. I, I literally opened this one and I thought, okay, there's no opportunity here. I know these ones pretty well. I didn't really like anything, but I didn't even research them. And I just saw that feline um, friends looked really interesting. So I opened it up and yeah, it was pretty good. It's right there. So you could have also have opened up all the other ones and seen there's opportunities there. Uh, I promise to also show you free tools. I have recently enjoyed using NFT scoring. Uh, which also gives you this transaction window uh, where you can kind of see whether it's support levels. I really like that one. They do have a premium plan. I haven't used that, but it's probably pretty good too. Uh, Compass used to be free. Now you have to pay, uh, but they also have really nice stats. So you can try that one as well. It's not very expensive, by the way. Um, there are tons of other tools, but NFT scoring is your best bet right now for free tool. And uh, I recommend them. They have a lot of really cool things, analytics as well, just shows you, oh, this is even better by the way, because it's a bigger transaction map. So you can kind of see where you, your support level is in a, in a way better way. So nftscoring.com, not affiliated with them and it's free, so I'm not getting anything out of it, but they're just awesome and it's great. Um, Nansen is your premium tool that I really like. And if you're using it, you are gonna be using NFT God mode. Uh, another really cool feature they have in there is NFT indexes, where you can actually see how the market is going right now. And we can see that the market is doing pretty well for the top 500 biggest collections. The top 10 biggest collections is okay. Social is doing okay. Gaming is a bit up and down. Art is up. And I think Metaverse is also up a lot. So that's pretty good for the market. Um, but anyway, guys, this is how you do uh, research for Rarity Sniper and how you actually win stuff that you can then flip. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I hope this is useful. This is now live on all NFT Handshake servers. Uh, this week we got mobile integration coming as well. I'm pumped for that. You can just use your phone and just set up bits, relist stuff, and it's just gonna be awesome. Uh, this is also dark mode, which was a huge improvement from this white mode we had before. Uh, and right now I'm working on trade um, bidding, so you can actually bid based on trades and that's coming uh, within the next week as well. Uh, it's gonna be a huge opportunity for you to snipe and bid on trades uh, and not just rarity. Um, and then we have uh, bid looping. So what will happen is you will start bidding in here and you know how your bids expire uh, when, you know, obviously when the expire time runs out. Well, this uh, called looping would actually make the software bid for you again once the expiration time is running out. That way you'll have bids up all the time. We'll even put in something uh, in the tool so that you can say if the floor drops by X amount, then the looping will not occur again. It will stop bidding. So that's kind of like a safety net for you right there. Also working on counter bidding. So let's say that I set up this from 51 to 100. And I want to make sure I have the highest bid at all times. Counter bidding can be enabled for this spe uh, specific range. And then the bot will keep outbidding everyone else on that on those tokens. Uh, with your own ceiling, you say, well, only go up to this price. Uh, so that's also really cool. But anyway, guys, thank you. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any questions.